the Appalachian or, or region in Bordeaux that perhaps um, endured the worst of the, uh, of the climatic conditions in 2011 was saint Estève. However, two or three of the very best properties have made actually very, very, very good 2011s, and perhaps one of the best is Chateau Camel Seguir. Uh, we're with the estate's technical director, Vincent Millet, who um, is going to help us to tell us in one word what the 2011 vintage means to him. Well, for me, the only word is the technician vintage. Because you had to work so hard? No, but the condition was very different when you compare 09 and 010. Uh, when you see the, the, the plants between March and June in Saint Estelle, because of the clay in the soil, we didn't see the, the stress about plants. Because the clay is cool and retains the moisture. Yes, yes, of course. And uh, it's very amazing because you are there for flowering for very long. And uh, on the 20th of August, when I test the berries, the berries were very ripe and the analysis were very good. This was the 20th of August? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so this is, what, a month before you would normally find berries in that? Not, not one month, about three weeks. Three weeks, okay. Yes. And we started the vintage on the 3rd of September. Which is very early. Yeah, very early, and we finished on the 20th of September. When did you start the harvest for 2010? At the end of September, on the 29th, 9th of September. So you finished harvesting the 2011s a week before you started harvesting yeah, yeah. the 2010s. Yeah, it's an amazing vintage. But it's a technician vintage because we have uh, a lot of decisions about uh, the harvesting and uh, after the, the blending. Because you don't know exactly if tenants are very ripe. So during the vinification, we don't, uh, we don't have more extraction. I would like to preserve the freshness and the softness tenants. Mm -hmm. And during the, the blending, we do several selections. And uh, when uh, you see, when you test in Carmen Gasqueton and Calon Sigur, you have more and more Carmen Sauvignon and in the Cru Bourgeois and in the first. Uh, what is the blend of Cabernet and, and Calon this year? For Cabernet, we have more Cabernet Sauvignon than 2010. We have 74% Cabernet Sauvignon and only 26% Merlot. Mm -hmm. And for Calon Sigur, we have 78% Cabernet Sauvignon. And only 20% now. And you, you told me something a moment ago, which was I, I thought at the time uh, pretty pretty astounding, was that the analysis of your the chemical analysis of your 2011 is is identical to your 2010. Yes, of course, it's a, it's a surprise for me. At the beginning, uh, I I thought that 011 could be compared with 008 because of the freshness. Mm -hmm. And one day I tested in 08, 09, 010, and 011. And I'm very surprised to, 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 to see the, the tenants compare 011 with 010. And when I read the analysis, I saw that the high level of alcohol of tenants is the same between 011 and 010. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much.